and welcome back to Glen Levitt with Trail Dog. I messed that up, didn't I? Uh, Trail Dog at Glen Levitt. That's funny, I did rearrange them, and it works eventually. Uh, or, as I like to privately call it, dude, where's my aorta? Nah, uh, it was funnier in my head, I'll be honest. Anyway, we're back on the fire road climb again. Hopefully this one's not too long. Uh, at least the last time was relatively okay. The blue sky seems to be vanishing rapidly. That's not a good thing. And there were two riders behind me and they vanished. So, <laughs> hopefully they've just stopped for a rest and they're not, for example, being eaten by something. Which is actually not far-fetched, as it might first sound. Ah, yeah. Am I about to go on a weird tangent about chupacabras again? I'm not going to pull up that weird picture I drew and add on the spooky music to scare the crap out of people again. Apparently it did scare the crap out of a few people. Brown streaks across the bedroom. Yeah. Uh, apparently. <laughs> uh, no. Wolves. Yeah, wolves, wild boar. Neither of those things exist in Scotland at the moment. But, there is a landowner up in this direction. I think it's Maori, which is actually where we are. I don't know. He wants to reintroduce them to the wild. Wait, was it wolves and boars or wolves and bears? It's either boars or bears. They're pretty much as bad as each other, really. Not as a kind of release them into the wild completely, but keeping them on I don't know, an enclosed estate kind of thing. So, don't know what the land access rules would be for that. Yeah, you, you've got the right to roam, but you might be eaten. I'm not sure how that would work either. Because, uh, kind of, uh, wolves and bears used to be a fixture of the UK. There's all kinds of stories about, uh, I think it's 1700s even, they had them about 17, maybe not the 1800s, I'm pretty sure they were gone by then. But, you had lots of stories about harsh winters, where the wolves would come in and eat people, or attack villages, because there's nothing else out there. Snow! Snow on the ground. Uh, but they, they, they definitely have gone for a long time. So technically the ecology once did support them, but no longer, because it's not the same climate. I'm pretty sure people would start complaining if their sheep got eaten, which their wolves, they would get eaten. They're easy prey. Again, it's only in a fixed area, but would it work? Now, I'm one of those kind of weird people who I don't idolise wolves or anything, but I think they're kind of cool. And uh, <sighs> get the digital shifter out. Up here, these people. Quite a few people actually. Yeah, it'd be quite cool to have them back in the country, but. I don't need to last very long. So, yeah, I don't like really filming while there's people behind me because they hear me talking and they think I'm mad. I suppose I'm really, I am chatting away constantly to a camera. But, uh, well, anyhow. Yeah, it'd be interesting to re-release them. There's, they are placed in the Highlands already that have wolves free, uh, free-ish. I think the Highland Wildlife Park up at, where is it? It's not Newton Moor, King Gussie, I think. Apparently they've got a, a pack of wolves there. Don't know what type of wolves. It might be maned. No, I think the maned wolf is at Edinburgh Zoo, and last time I was there, it looked very lonely. That's nasty, that is. 
mangles are weird looking anyway. They're, they're kind of like, uh, I don't know, like a mix between a hyena and a giraffe. Uh, but it was it was just the one in the pen, and it did look bored out of its skull. And yeah, I can respect Adam Razoo for a few of its policies, like not having elephants. Because uh, it's on a hill, and they've not got that much room, which is a thing elephants pretty much do need. And it is a pretty steep hill, it's a dolphin hill. It's not exactly shallow, so I can see elephants having issues up there. But they refuse to keep elephants, the only one they have is a model one at the entrance. Uh, they have other things, giraffes and rhinos, 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 rhinoceroses. <sighs> English, why are you so difficult today? <sighs> But, uh, I've completely lost the thread. Yeah, but the, the singular main wolf does look bored, which I don't like. If you're going to keep animals like that in a zoo, give them company. It's only fair. I look at me last night. I was in a youth hostel for one night on my own. No other guests no staff or anything and it was so boring and these animals live in their pens for their entire lives doing nothing seeing nothing except the customers paying customers walking past and pointing at them occasionally banging on the glass but I can see why animals would get annoyed with that there's actually snow in the air at the moment Ooh. That is our final destination for the ride. Wait, um, you know what I mean? Fi final, final, final uphill. So this is the, the end of the uphill. The end of the main climb. Not my final destination. I don't plan on dying up there or anything. Let's just put that one to rest. Not figuratively, but figuratively, yes. Figuratively put it to rest, not literally. I ain't literally putting it directly means I would actually die. Which would tie into the beginning the whole dude with my aorta thing. Because uh, given that hill there is a fair chance my aorta might just explode. But let's see how it goes. <sighs> but uh, yeah. Uh, there are there is evidence about that wolves, bears, etc. used to live. Oh, I've got hiccups in Scotland. I think one of the best ones I can think of off the top of my head is Glasgow. Not Glasgow itself, but there is a place in Glasgow called, yeah, a place in Glasgow called Bears Den, which sounds suspicious to me. So I suspect there actually used to be a Bears Den. That's the kind of way they name places, or they used to name places. Otherwise, why would they call it Bears Den? Ah. <coughs> uh, no, we've got more fire road. Thought I was gonna be able to call it there, but nope. I'm sorry. The video's going on for about 15 minutes now. Oh, now it's raining. Fantastic. Just what I needed. Where's that trail there? That looks like a trail. It could be in luck. <coughs> we got trail. Okay, so uh, at this point in time in these and videos, the extra in these and videos stuff are going online. So last night's upload, the 2nd of November, was about the so Redline climb in these and across country, but it was also mostly about liking and favoriting on YouTube and how they actually help. So, linking into that tenuously, uh, if you enjoyed the, this video or any of the other videos, please leave a like or subscribe. Uh, they do help out. They really, they actually really, really do help out. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.